Meditation doesn't happen as easy anymore. Day 70, I must presume. Since yesterday was 69. But it becomes harder when the fact has to be... When the template, I apologize, has to be one of focus, one of uh, understanding, one of one of concentration when my mind races in a hundred different thoughts and the ability to bring back, find the pole, find the center becomes harder because the storm of thoughts become more wild, more vivid, easier to be pulled from the center. And then once pulled from lost in the storm can you find your way back and if you do is that where you want to be you see i believe i'm lost lost in this storm of chaos despair trying to find the center i once knew yet it's no longer there i'm no longer the same person as before this series of meditation, this series of uh, of things I try and do are to find myself again. Yet, at the same time, I try to leave that behind, try to leave me. I'm trying to be more than just me, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be, that's it, present. So does that require me to be away from the past or to recognize the past, to understand the things that have happened, yet not to let that define me, which is hard because you see, as individuals, we live in the past. We, we use the past to define our future, which shouldn't be. We should use it as a guideline, as a, as a template, as a rubric to study from for your upcoming exam. It's not what exactly will be on the exam, but the things that have happened in your past should have shown you what can happen in your future. Should give you an idea of, hey, these things will be on the exam. You may want to study from them, study them to create a better grade, to create a better future. Yet it's very hard when trying to do so in real life, trying to learn from your past and go on because you get stuck there. You stay there. What could have been and what has been. You become a has been. And that's no way to be or to seek. You see, I've come to the realization that I'm lost. As I said, that I don't know where to go. I don't know if this meditation will work, if what I'm doing to better myself, to clear my mind, to understand what's going up in here and in here. My heart, of course, my soul, my being can actually be one because they're different right now they're different they're not connected I can feel that everything I do everything I touch everything I am once I want to be that there's two different thoughts two different two different writing thoughts one of I can make this happen I can be what I thought I could be of the old me, that idea that was there, that wanted to create this change that got me, me in this place right now, that put me here at this time because of that one idea. And I struggle with it because I'm now trying to create something I wanted to create somewhere else for someone else. And I'm doing it here for someone else. I don't see myself being in foreseeable future because family is what I cherish. When there is no family here, I'm thousands of miles, literally, from my family. Liz is who I married. 
she is family, yet my family, my blood is who I am longing to touch the connection, the emotion. It's no longer there through this medium of video or of texting, of phone calls, of a middleman. No person to person connection. And see, my soul tells me there's more. Tells me that what I've done was just a step into who I'm to be. That this sorrow is what I must go through. But I cannot let it define me. I cannot let it be me, myself. Because I am waiting. And I want to be me. I long to be myself again. But I don't know what that is. I don't think I can be that again. And so there's this battle between my head, my heart, my soul of what I'm to be. Since they're not connected, I really can't, I can't meditate anymore because I think there's no longer that connection. I try to, I lie to myself, I do things trying to be someone I'm no longer. Deep thoughts on a Friday morning, day 70.